question about the Rusian nuclear plant. Um, you know, in regards to Ukrainian uh, reports that uh, you know Russia may be planning uh, sabotage at the plant, you know, the, the U.S. and the Secretary has promised catastrophic consequences if Russia were to use a tactical nuclear weapon in Ukraine. Uh, would you consider sort of deliberate sabotage of a nuclear plant to be basically equivalent to that? With, let me, with similar consequences. Let, let me say a few things about it. One, we're um, uh, aware of the comments that President Zelensky made, and we continue to monitor conditions uh, at the plant. We believe that the International Atomic Energy Agency should have full access to all portions of the plant. Uh, Russia should facilitate this on-site access. Um, we've said that for a number of times. And I would just say, um, in direct response to your question, that Russia's leadership should think long and hard about whether they want to risk causing a nuclear catastrophe, because if that happens, uh, the international community will absolutely hold Russia to, in, Russia to account. All right, one more. Alex, you want to? Very, very, yeah, okay. very, very quick question. Yeah. What do you make up of uh, Putin's meeting with Prigozhin, and what will we be watching for in terms of how it impacts the war and the situation in Russia and Putin's leadership? Well, I'm not going to pretend I have a degree in advanced criminology studies here and comment on on what well, the you were uh, on the Justice Department. Perhaps. Yeah, that's different than advanced criminology <laughs> studies and, and <laughs> de deciding who's up and who's down and uh, and what that means. What was the second part of your your question? Uh, its impact to the uh, Ukrainian war. I, I, I again think that that how the the entire Prigozhin episode shakes out still remains to be seen. Um, that was a new development, and I suspect there will continue to be new developments. But I will just say, with respect to the, you know, the reports, obviously, that you know, Yevgeny Prigozhin and Vladimir Putin were at odds with each other, and now we see them meeting with them. It, it reiterates something that I said from this podium the day after those events happened, which is there are no heroes in this struggle between the two of them. These are both people who have committed atrocities or ordered the commission of atrocities in Ukraine. And Matt, my, 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 second question, my second topic uh, on... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you no. think they are in codes with one another? I, I, I'm, again, I'm not going to play criminologist on this. Matt, I'm you want to? Oh. If you don't mind, on, uh, Army Azerbaijan, the Secretary called Arlington meeting successful. Um, what should Azerbaijan's army be looking for in the days and months ahead to understand that it was successful? Uh, I think um, another sign would be the continuation of talks, which we continue to support. Um, uh, we continue to believe an agreement is, is possible, and we look forward to further talks um, in the coming months. Continuation, including in Washington. Next I'm not going to say any more than that, yeah. Matt.